first lesson with you. Appreciate you guys coming down here under less than ideal circumstances. And Wade, I'll start with you. And you know me, I'm asking this respectfully. Can you explain what happened out there? Um, you know, uh, sometimes it's just not your night out there. You know, uh, we struggled scoring the ball tonight a little bit. And, uh, you know, Southern Miss did a great job coming out here and playing hard. You know, I think they did a great job scouting us. They were real prepared for this game. And, you know, they played really hard and um, just did a great job tonight. Yes. Um obviously I know the plan was not what happened out there. But looking forward, what do you think is important for you and your teammates to learn from what happened tonight? Uh, we have to rebound, and actually we have to box out first and then rebound. We just try to go after the ball, and uh, they were stronger than us tonight, and it showed, I think, rebounds is the most important thing that we need to take. You guys have usually done, done well at responding, whether it's at a halftime or at a quarter or timeouts or something. Just what was it that didn't allow that, to, that really to kick in? Um, you know, like I said, you know, some nights it's just not your night, and I think that Southern Myth just did a great job of having great intensity, and they just went out and played really hard, and, you know, they fought tough, so, you know, you know all we can do right now is just leave this in the past and get ready for the next game. Alexis, five points in the, in the first quarter, I mean, just uh, how frustrating, obviously pretty frustrating, but to not be able to overcome that, and it's like, for the rest of the way, you guys played them pretty tight, but just how much do you look at that first quarter as what set the tone for tonight? The first quarter was exactly what killed us tonight. If we would have been in the game then, we would have won the game at the end because we play with them the rest of the time. Um, but then again, rebounding killed us first quarter, second quarter, the whole game. So that was really the problem tonight. Hey, Lex, when, when you said re the first quarter killed you and you said rebound, was it strictly the rebounding in the first quarter that, that killed you? Um, Coming out of halftime, half they had us plus 10 on the boards. So right there, that's a lot. And they always rebound out their opponent plus seven. That's three more than they usually do already. So I think that killed us. But then again, we didn't change it coming out of halftime half either. Um, coming into tonight, you know, it's a game you guys were terrific on offense. And you saw flashes of how great your guys transition offense uh, kind of is coming into the game, so I want to know how how much how much easier is the game kind of playing this transition offense when the floor kind of opens up a whole lot more. You know, I think that our lack of rebounding is what led for us not to be able to get in transition. You know, that's how you can get in transition. You get those defensive rebounds and you push the ball. So when we're able to rebound and push, we're allowed to get wide open layups. You know, we do a great job of running the floor. So in transition, we get a lot of open uh, looks. But in the half court, you know, their defense is set, so it makes it a lot harder to score. Right, and kind of. Uh, does playing that high tempo game uh, kind of also help you out on the defensive end? Because you know teams know that coming into the game, so they kind of have to get back on defense. So they can't really throw as many numbers down low to get the boards. You know, aside from that, so does that really help uh, help you guys out outside of just you know on the offensive end? Um, I think we kind of seen it. Like how dangerous our transition is when we were on the road at FIU. When we shot, when they shot free throws, they would send their whole team back, other than the shooters. So you know, I think it's something that teams are definitely aware of. You know, they're going to try to slow us down in transition. You guys did cut it to five there in the fourth quarter, so you sparked something there. I mean, did you guys at all feel that you were able to be able to get over the hump there? And I mean, what was it that maybe didn't allow that there in the fourth? We never lost faith that we couldn't get back in the game, but then we would cut it and then we would foul and they they hit their free throws tonight. Um, they never missed really, it felt like. So I think that's what really hurt us. It seemed like they were really physical down low. Just how frustrating was it, you know, trying to deal with getting inside and, you know, being against a really physical team inside? Um, they were more athletic than us in the post and stronger. So I guess that is kind of, hard to guard or to box out and rebound because they always are moving and out jumping us. But we just have to learn how to uh, box out and go with the rebound regardless. With just kind of what I asked Lex earlier, what's the most important thing for you and teammates to take from this game? What do you need to learn? You know, I think that we just need to learn that in any given night, anybody can beat you. We're, we're not invincible. You know, we started off undefeated in conference when we lost tonight, that kind of shows us that, hey, you got to come out and be ready to play every night. You just can't think you're going to show up and win. You have to be prepared every game and just come out and play hard. Anything else? Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks Thank you. Guys.